when we all wake up the morning of April 26th, 2024, it's a Friday, everybody's going to work, it's another day in the life, but the Storm Chasers, we're focused on Saturday, because Saturday, April 27th, is going to be a tornado outbreak in Kansas and Oklahoma. There's a dry line, there's good moisture, there's good low-level shear, it's all coming together, but every Storm Chaser knows that you have to watch out for that pesky day before the day. On April 26, 2024, a shortwave embedded in a broader system would slam the United States, but this late April system was different. Surface dew points in the mid-60s and extremely cold air aloft combined to generate a deeply unstable air mass. Using the sunshine as rocket fuel, a classic setup for air to rise and thunderstorms to develop in an extreme atmosphere conducive for tornadoes was unfolding. This was the beginning of a tornado outbreak. By early afternoon, the first tornadoes of the day were already happening near Grand Island, Nebraska, including a murky wedge that was eventually rated EF3. But I was nowhere near there. I was punching the hail core of the storm producing the Lincoln, Nebraska EF3 tornado further east, and one broken windshield later, I got a glimpse of it before chasing the two tornadoes that followed. rapid cycles and short-lived little tornadoes eventually kind of stopped and when it stopped and it started spinning again I knew that we were about to get a monster tornado because that's how that usually happens and this one developed as a little skinny rope tornado and then got bigger and bigger and all of a sudden it was humongous and it was like throwing houses and throwing trees in my rearview mirror and I was running away from it. As the day continued, the target shifted into western Iowa, and the fifth tornado of the day developed to my southwest. Eventually, this tornado would cycle again. It would become the Minden, Iowa EF3 tornado. It was a mile-wide tornado that hit the town head-on. But I stopped before that happened because a car got stuck on the muddy road right in front of me, and I didn't think I could go around him without getting stuck myself or hitting him. And then while I sat there, some guy came out of his house and started talking to me, completely ignoring the tornado that was like a mile away from us. So I asked him, like, hey, do you have any neighbors or anything you want to call and check on? And he was like, huh, neighbors?
the end of this tornado ended my chase mostly because I was tired of roadblocks and wanted to go drink beer instead of chasing more tornadoes. So that's what I did. In total, this tornado outbreak would feature 108 tornadoes across the United States, ranging from Iowa to Texas, and would be one of the premier days for storm chasing in 2024. While there was one fatality in Minden, Iowa, as the town took a direct hit from a mile-wide tornado, it could have been so much worse if not for the life-saving actions of the National Weather Service, local media outlets, and storm chasers that helped ensure that everyone was in their shelter when tornadoes were coming their way. Thanks for watching.